I'm dancing, huh? We can hug. Great, come on. All right, this is to pet a dog, all right? So I pinch him, I pinch him, and he's like, ouch, don't do that. Squeeze, it's like you squeeze a lemon, right? This other verb is this one. <laughs> Fala galera, no vídeo de hoje você vai ver 52 verbos em inglês, completíssimo esse vídeo, e a gente vai atuar nesses verbos, porque verbo é ação, né? Então a gente vai estar em ação, por isso casal em ação no nome do vídeo, haha. Ah. <risos> Ai meu Deus. Por que, que a gente vai atuar em cima dos verbos? Porque é bem mais fácil memorizar, né meu querido? Você não vai estar apenas ouvir em inglês, e você vai estar tá vendo a gente fazer o verbo, a, a ação gente passa do a verbo. Vergonha, na verdade, a... É, exatamente. As coisas que a gente faz <risos> por esse canal, tá? Ó, outra coisa importante, esse vídeo vai ser 100% em inglês a partir dessa introdução, né? Porque. 97, né? então. 97% Sim. em inglês. E aí vai ser bom para você treinar o seu ouvido, o seu listening, tá bom? E pode ficar tranquilo, a gente vai preparar uma legenda maravilhosa para você ativar. Em inglês aí, então não precisa se preocupar, tá bom? É só apertar nessas configurações que tá aparecendo aqui na tela que você vai ligar a sua legenda. E para ficar mais fácil e setorizado o que a gente faz, a gente vai dividir o vídeo por partes do corpo humano, alright? Yes. Então, body parts. Então, vai ter uma parte que é a cabeça, vai ter outra parte que são as mãos, os braços, pernas, enfim. Preparado? Prepara seu ouvido aí, então bora! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel, clicking the button below. If you like the video and if you comment and if you interact with us, it will help us a lot, okay? All right, we're gonna start with the first part of the body that we're gonna show that is the head. This round thing is the head, okay? So, I'm going to start with nod. See? I'm nodding. That's what I'm doing with my head when I'm agreeing with someone. Right. You're completely right. It's like, ah, mm-hmm. I'm nodding, okay? Nod, nod your head. Now, the other verb is shake your head. Uh, I don't agree with you, so I'm shaking my head. I'm saying no, no, you can't do that. No, it's when you're disagreeing with someone, you shake your head. Okay, so the next body part is your eyes. This little two balls here. These are your eyes, all right? So the first thing you can do is to close your eyes. When you close it, it means you're not seeing anymore. Oh, really? So you close it, and then when you wake up, you open your eyes. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. Anyways, so you close your eyes, and then you open your eyes, all right? So two verbs. Next verb. It's when you don't want to see a particular thing because you you don't like it, maybe. Um, you cover your eyes. You put your hands over it. So you cover your eyes because you don't want to see a very particular thing. Okay. Cover your eyes, yeah. Okay? This other verb, we do it a lot. It's to blink. I'm blinking several times right now and we do it like thousands of times in one day we don't know exactly how many times we do it but we blink we blink a lot to keep our eyes moist this other verb is this one when you wink at someone it means that you may like them i don't know you may like this person or are you just crazy you know you mean he winked at you he winks at everyone he's a very big winker so this verb, wink, your wink, you just do it with just one eye. I can do it just with this one maybe, or I don't know. So wink. And the last one with your eyes is to stare, stare. It happens when someone is looking at you like directly and probably checking you out or this person doesn't like you at all. For example, this is stare, okay? I don't like when people stare at me. I think it's crazy. I think it's weird. And I don't, and I really do not feel comfortable with this, okay? The next part of the body that we're gonna show is the nose. See, the nose. The nose, all right? So, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I just sneezed. See, 
uh, sneezing. So right now it's very dangerous to sneeze because of the coronavirus. Okay, so you wear a mask. All right, if you're in public, wear a damn mask. I miss my nose. Now. <laughs> ew, 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 ew. It, it didn't come anything out. Okay, this is just blow your nose. Okay, we usually use a tissue to do that. It's like. It's usually uh, old people do that, you know, when your grandpa and your grandma, they do that, it's, <coughs> it's blowing your nose. All right, the next one is this one. Look, it's like sniff. So I'm sniffing. I'm sniffing around just like a dog. I'm sniffing. That's cool, right? Hey, somebody's baking a cake. I'm sniffing. The next one is a bad one. Don't do that in public, all right? If you need to clean your house, just go to the bathroom or do something, okay? Don't do that in, the, in front of people. It's when you go like, you know, and you're like, oh yeah, it's like, it, it gives a, a bit of a pleasure, right? When you're, when you're there. Get a room. <laughs> yeah, so it's like picking your nose, picking your nose, picking your nose in public it's not good. It's not okay. All right. So go to the bathroom and pick your nose, pick your nose a lot in the bathroom and clean it out. Okay. The next body part is our mouth. Mouth. We have this TH sound, mouth, that most Brazilians freak out, you know. And the first verb with your mouth is to talk. When you talk to someone, blah, 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 blah. how are you doing? I'm fine. What about you? Blah, blah, blah. This is talk. This is talking. Or you can speak, it's practically the same. So talk and speak. Now, let's say I want to tell you a secret. I'm going to whisper, whisper, whisper. I'm going to say it very low because I don't want other people to hear it because it's a secret after all, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is this other verb that I love doing this. It's singing. I love to sing. I love singing. For example, open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. So this is singing. And you can also whistle. Whistle is when you do this sound. This is whistle, okay? And when you're not in the mood for singing or whistling, you can hum. I'm humming right now. <laughs> Okay, with our mouth, we can also kiss someone. This is kissing. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with it. How you doing? And when you're eating something, we chew. Like this action is to chew, chew. And when you're finished chewing, you have to swallow. You chew and then you swallow, okay? And let's say you had a little trouble with your food and then something starts to obstruct your food and your air is you're crazy and like <coughs> <coughs> this verb is called to cough when you cough something is stopping the air from passing and you're having trouble actually and today we have to do this we have to cough into our elbow because of coronavirus and all and the last one we can do with our mouth is to choke. It's not good. I do not recommend it to anyone. It's when you're having trouble again, but you're kind of suffocating, you know. For example, you're eating again and then you're suffocating. You need air. So you're suffocating, you're choking. When you choke, this is the verb to choke, okay? Before we continue, I just want to recommend this video that's appearing on the card right here that it's free ways to learn English all by yourself. All right, so click on the card and you can have all of these tips to do that, to learn English all by yourself. All right, this next one is the ears. All right, these two things here, they are the ears. All right, so the first one is to plug your ears. You know, when you're in a concert and it's too loud or when someone is playing a song that you don't like it very much and you're like, oh, that's that's too loud. So you plug your ears, all right? So you plug with your fingers, you plug your ears, all right? The next one is cover your ears. 
So you got plug, but the next one is cover. You know, maybe you're out in the cold and there's a wind coming and you're like covering your ears so the wind doesn't hurt you or make you uh, ill. So you just cover your ears, all right? Freeze it. And now I can't hear you. I can't hear what you're saying. So can you speak louder, please? So this is cup, cup your ear, all right? So can you speak up? Can you speak up? I can't hear you. It just so this is cupping your ear, all right? Next body part is your fingers. I'm going to teach you the fingers part and Felipe will teach you the hands, like the whole package. But now fingers. The first verb is when you snap your fingers, like raindrops are falling on my head. This is snapping. This little sound that you do with your fingers is to snap. Okay? It's like Snapchat. This is the same word. I have no idea what is it called, Snapchat. All right, let's say uh, a mosquito decides to land on me. And I really hate mosquitoes, by the way. So the mosquito lands on me. I'm just going to flick it, flick it away, flick it. Okay? And somebody all of a sudden appears and starts talking to me and asking directions. Where can I find the mall? And I'm going to point to the place. I'm going to point like, oh, it's over there. You just have to cross the street and turn left. No, no, no. So I'm pointing. This is other verb that you can do with your finger. Wow. So let's say I'm having trouble with my husband right now, who is recording me, by the way. And he says something that I didn't like. So I pinch him. I pinch him. And he's like, ouch, don't do that. It's not nice to do it to people, okay? Don't pinch people. And you can also poke people, like, hey, hey, can you answer me? Oh, we're fashioning a very long poking device. <laughs> I do that a lot. And he gets annoyed, by the way. And yet we're still poking him. <laughs> do you remember Phoebe from France when she's wearing a kitchen glove and she kind of gestures? She makes like a very bad gesture. <laughs> it's such a shame you can't see what finger I'm holding. So this verb is to gesture. I'm not going to do it right now because it's bad. It's, it's not cool. And you do it to people. I don't know why people do that, but people do it to gesture. Okay. And the last verb you can do with your fingers is when you very close to someone, you can make people tickle. When you tickle, you're trying to make them giggle. Like, ah, ha, ha, ha. I don't like to be tickled. Okay. I hate it especially in my armpits. So now we're gonna move on to the hands, all right? These two things here, my right hand, my left hand. So pay attention, this is a fist, so I'm going to punch it, all right? So I'm gonna punch someone, all right? Don't do that, that's violence, but this is punching someone, okay? The next one is a little bit violent too, but you do that, all right? So you slap it, it's like uh, slap someone in the face slap someone all right this is slapping so now two opposite ones all right there is pull when you're pulling something next to you all right so i'm pulling this chair next to me all right so now the next one is pushing so i'm pushing i'm pushing away from me all right so pull and push oh, what's that what's that it's a mosquito so swat a mosquito so i'm just I'm swatting a mosquito because it's buzzing in my ear, so I'm swatting a mosquito. Swatting at each other with their eyes closed. And now, uh, happy birthday for you, right? So I'm, I'm clapping my hands to celebrate your birthday. This is to clap my hands, to clap your hands. So congratulations. The next one is something that we don't do a lot anymore because of what's happening, Buzz, is to shake hands. Right? I don't have anyone here to shake my hand, so this is to shake hands. When you're, when you're greeting someone, so you like, shake hands, all right? Nowadays, we just do the, the one with the elbow or fist bump, you know? All right, so now this, you know, to do this, I'm rubbing. Um, all right, maybe I burned myself and now I'm, I'm just rubbing my arm to make it, you know, the pain go away. I'm just rubbing. Rub, all right? To rub. All right, this next one is to squeeze. So I'm squeezing this thing right now, all right? It's a, it's a hat. 
So I'm squeezing, all right? When you take your hand and you just squeeze, squeeze, it's like you squeeze a lemon, right? To pour some juice. The next one is pet, all right? And I'm not talking about the dog, but you can do it in a dog. You, you wanna see something? Ray, Ray, Ray. She's sleeping. Ray, Ray, come on. All right, this is to pet a dog, all right? I'm petting Ray, see? This is to pet. And something that it's good to do nowadays because you do it at a distance, all right? You see someone out on the street and you know them and you're like, hey, so you're just waving at someone, all right? Hey, how you doing? All right, just wave. This is the first video ever that we do 100% in English. Awesome! And we would love to hear what you have to say if you're liking and you're following and you're enjoying this video at all, okay? So leave your comment in the sections below. The next body part is your arms. This whole part of my body here is my arm, okay? So we can do two things with your arms. The first one, we can hug people that we like. We can hug. This is a act of love, okay? We hug people. And we can also bump elbows. We can bump elbows to say hello, especially right now that we are in this middle of this pandemic. Okay, so we bump elbows. This is a verb that we should know and we should do it. Here in the description, we have a link to an excellent English course for you to learn faster and better. And if you buy using our link, you can get a lot of bonuses to learn even more with us, right? So it's exclusive bonus from us, all right? So don't forget to click on the link below and check it out. All right, now I'm doing things with my whole body, all right? So I'm gonna do something that I don't do it because I'm not good at, but I'm dancing, huh? See what I'm doing? I'm dancing, come on. Oh no. That's, that's dancing, you dance. I'd be going like this. All right, so I'm walking, I'm walking, and then, whoops, I tripped, all right? So this is trip. I just trip on my own feet, all right? On my own foot. So I just tripped and almost fell down, but I didn't. I'm walking, and then, whoa, I slipped. Oh, I almost fell down. Look, this is slipping, all right? So I almost had an accident, but I didn't because I, I held my ground, so slipping. Be careful. All right, this next one, it's very interesting, all right? So it's one that you take the, your whole body out of the ground. So look, I'm jumping, I'm jumping. You can do a lot of things. You can do jumping in a lot of situations. So see, I'm jumping. Now we have a different type of jumping, all right? So I'm gonna do it with one feet. So I'm hopping. I'm hopping, I hop. This next one, I do it when I don't wanna wake anybody up. So I go on my tiptoe. So I tiptoe so I don't wake anybody up, all right? So it's like walking on eggshells, you know? So I don't break it, so now I'm back in tiptoeing, right? So that's it, tiptoeing. So if you like the video, please subscribe, give a thumbs up because you help us a lot and you will make us a lot happier than we are right now. All right, so help us and we'll see you next time.